Operation Finale. Uh, this is a movie about post-World War II citizens of Israel hunting Adolf Eichmann, who is regarded as the architect of the Holocaust itself, the final solution. I just wanted to share my thoughts on one major change that I think really could have been made to make this movie even better. But before I do that, let me just preface it by saying if you look at the ratings for this movie, I will say that I think it's criminally underrated. Uh, IMDb has it at only a 6.7 out of 10. I thought this movie was easily an 8. Uh, the dialogue is incredibly well done. The plot is very streamlined. The pacing, I was at no point did I think, wow, this is a slow scene. I did not do that one single time watching this movie. However, if you go through the IMDb reviews, apparently the pacing was horrifically slow, which I find very bizarre because as a lot of you know, especially with some high tier Oscar films, I don't like things that are horrifically slow paced. This movie is not a movie with pacing issues. The dialogue was excellent. And the only other uh, critique that I consistently see popping up is that there isn't a whole lot of character development outside of uh, Melanie Laurent's character, Oscar Isaacs, Peter, and Ben Kingsley's Eichmann. Um, I will agree with that, but I think if you were to spend a lot of time developing all of the other supporting characters, then you probably would run into that pacing issue that was apparently already there. So with that being said, there is and there will be some minor spoilers from here on out, but to be completely honest, if you are familiar with history, you probably already know what happens, so I don't really think this is going to take away from your enjoyment of the film if you have not yet seen it. Um, there's one really big scene, so basically this movie does an incredibly exceptional job at humanizing Eichmann because it would be very easy to make a standard Munich style thriller where the Israelis hunt him down, they capture him, they interrogate him, and then they get him back to Israel for his trial. Uh, rather than do a very standard kidnapping abduction thriller, a lot of the dialogue actually humanizes Eichmann. Eichmann does a very good job of manipulating his captors, but we're, as the audience, we're not really sure if it is true manipulation. He claims that he's a soldier, he was doing his best for his country, and I can't really do it justice here in a brief video. You really do need to watch the movie to get a good sense of exactly what is happening in these conversations between Eichmann and Peter. So what ends up happening is towards the climax of the film, right when they're about to get him back to Israel, Eichmann has a very sudden change in his demeanor, which is where he starts telling a very graphic and heartless story about witnessing the execution, perhaps even of Peter's family member, where he witnesses a small child killed, talks about not caring about the brains getting on his uniform. It was very horrific and it causes Peter to want to kill him. But in all honesty, I think this kind of cheapens what the film had been building up until that point. I feel as though that sudden change in his demeanor, that sudden heartlessness, that sudden rage doesn't fit in the demeanor that he had created and the rapport that he had essentially created with his captors. Uh, personally, I think it would have been more powerful if they left Eichmann completely ambiguous with all of his dialogue scenes and instead expanded the final scene of the trial where they show the horrific events that had happened. So essentially you would have a possibly manipulative dialogical representation of him between his interactions with his captors and then you would have what actually happened as a result of his actions that would allow the audience to make a decision and to truly recognize just how dangerous a person like that is. A person can present so eloquently, they can make their case so well, but at the end of the day, it would paint a much more authentic picture about how the actions really need to trump the presentation. 
And because of that one scene, it's easy for the audience to simply discount all of the previous scenes. It would make us as the audience more morally conflicted, um, and it, it, it really paints the person's mastery. It really paints the character's mastery at negotiating, at discussing, at playing with emotions. So I just wanted to share the decision that was made. Um, I do kind of understand why they went with that scene, because to be frank, if they do make him a little too sympathetic for us as the audience, they might actually run into some political backlash because a lot of people might think that they're downplaying his crimes. But I think showing his horrific actions, showing real footage from real history would still have the same effect as that one blowing up scene, but it would be less of a cheapened opportunity. I agree that it probably did help show Peter's true investment in what had happened to his people, but I don't think it was worth the cost of diminishing the mastery of Eichmann. If you have not yet seen this movie, I highly recommend it. I, it's very unfortunate that it hasn't been getting a lot of attention and that the ratings are as low as they are. Uh, definitely check it out, and uh, if you want to hear more simple thoughts like this, please consider subscribing, and uh, probably the most important thing is leave us a comment. Talk about this decision that was made in the film if you have seen it.